brand new vlog. I'm in London. I got here yesterday. I took yesterday to rest and to sleep because my sleep was so broken up throughout the flight and throughout yesterday that I just like wanted to be well rested for today before I did anything. I'm getting ready to go to breakfast and I got dressed for the day. This isn't my full outfit but it's a bodysuit from my outfit online. I'm wearing these my outfit online pants and then I have these leggings that look like tights that I bought in case like I decide to wear a skirt but it's another layer of warmth because it is very cold here. I have a headband on just so my hair's out of my face for my skincare. I also bought these like little things that came in like a whole pack on Amazon and it, it prevents water from sliding down onto your shirt and stuff when you're doing your skincare, washing your face or whatever it may be and it's been very helpful. I'm trying to find where to put you. Um, what just happened? Is this bad luck? I was trying to prop you guys on a glass cup and there was an indent right here. What just happened? A glass broke, that's what happened. <laughs> Anyways. What just happened? Shut up. Okay, for skincare, this is what I brought. This is the Lancome Hydrating Toner, the Jenny Feek Serum and Moisturizer. I had never tried the moisturizer, and then I just started to use the whole line together, and I've noticed it works. Gala Mist L to MD Sunscreen. It doesn't matter how gloomy it is out, you need to wear sunscreen. I just sprayed this on my face. It's so minty. Hydrating toner. My skin gets really dry when it's cold. I might have to layer moisturizers. Uh, Kiel brought the Kiehl's one. So we might use that. This Lancome moisturizer just leaves my skin look so shiny. I also have the eye cream because I'm a freak, but look how much I used of it. I almost have like none left. Lancome works, you just kind of low-key have to commit for a while, but once you get the results, it's like, uh oh. Okay, I'm definitely like loading up on the eye cream today because I slept four hours, napped earlier, so I have like a combined five hours on me maybe. I hate the jet lag of like flying across the pond. You know what I mean? I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. I know we have high tea at the Ritz at 5.30. That's about like it that we have scheduled. But I think this morning, I'm gonna see if the Camden market is open. We can go there. There's a few things I've written down that we can do. I think we might just go to Big Ben, like go see it, go to Buckingham Palace, go to, you know, those little touristy things and maybe we'll go to a museum. I feel weird being here after watching Harry and Meg's documentary. <laughs> Okay, to finish this off, L to MD. I'm not wearing the tinted one, just regular sunscreen because I'm gonna put makeup on later. But I don't want it to like pill. P-I-L-L, -L, I think is what the term is called. Like when you layer certain cream products with too much time in between. I'm kind of living for this like butt lift this katsu gave me because the tights have like a lifting effect and it makes my butt look bigger than it actually is. This is breakfast today. Got a wellness shot too. Look at how cute this place is. All right, so I'm finally dressed. My coat jacket situation is from Meshki. My outfit online under like I showed you guys during breakfast. This headband's from Amazon. I'm wearing my little Chanel bag. These boots are H&M. I got them on a Paris trip because I didn't have black boots. They were 30 bucks and they're my favorite boots ever. I'm wearing Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is my scent of the trip. I like to wear certain scents on trips, so anytime that I wear it after the trip, it reminds me of it, so that is gonna be my London smell. Also, this is my makeup today, nice and light. I put some individuals towards the end of the lash just to kind of lift them a little bit. I haven't washed my hair in three or four days, so headband it is. Now point at it. <laughs> You're a little off. Did the second attempt. <laughs> no, more this way. <laughs> You're too short. <laughs> You're too short. I tried. We walked over to the London Eye. 72 euros, by the way, for both of us. Yeah, it was a lot of money. But we're gonna get in that. We're being tourists today, really annoying tourists. What else are we? We're Americans, bro. <laughs> We're literally tourists anywhere we go besides America. And they asked us, are you American? And Kiel was like, oh, we'll give it away. <laughs> we'll give it away, it was the R's. But it is you very cold, we need to get gloves. Now, you know what's funny is that whenever people with an accent sing, they sound American. That is very true. On the London Eye. Yes, we are. We're really high up. We can see the whole city, it's really cool. All right, we made it to Camden Market. This is like a touristy spot for food and shopping. It's like a whole street thing. I think we're gonna start over here. We're a little hungry, so. 
where we're headed. How cute is this? It's like a little orange juice stand. I made a stop here and I picked up a ring for Aniela and a rose quartz bracelet. How cute is this? Okay, we found a little food court. And this is what I got for my sister. We're eating at these little food shops. We got some Argentinian food and we got some Greek dessert and Greek beer. It's from this little street green place. The menu is so cute. You like the jacket? Okay, let's try the beer. That's good. I'm not a beer person a lot, but I was in the vibe today. You're in London. Yeah. Our food came. Yummy. We also got some baklava. They recommended this steak sandwich. Kayla really wants to win this. This is back to the whole thing where you want huge plush toys. How are we gonna I fly probably, this back? I probably should have read the instructions on how it works. How does it work? We should pull the button to send this. Oh, okay. Okay, wait. Oh, I thought I got it too. I thought I got it. Okay, this is the Camden Market in all its glory, guys. So cool. Guys, I just got Aniela a little vintage watch from this store and it's so cute and they're so affordable. They're like 90 to 100 euros and she's been wanting one for a while. So I got her. Guys, it's the next day. We ended up going back to the room to change for high tea and we ended up falling asleep. We do this every time. We always crash in the middle of the day and I'm half asleep. I slept like two hours after that really long nap and I'm just gonna try and brave the day. We're on the way to Harrods. We had breakfast this morning. This is what I'm wearing. My pants are white fox, mesh key, my outfit online. Our very lovely Uber driver is showing us Buckingham Palace. We have to like go and like walk around here later. I wanna like go see the palace even though we're Team Harry and Meghan, but you know what's so crazy? The divide. I feel like a lot of people. I like it go we, and I'm just like I have no clue what you're talking about. I feel like here, they're very much like on the side of the royal family, but America now is like so Team Harry and Meghan after the documentary. We made it to Harrods. We're at the cutest little coffee bar. I ordered a chai latte. Guys, I tried to get a new watch and they didn't have it. So we're gonna have to wait till we go to Paris. A little jet lag picked me up. Sorry, I ruined it. I added sugar. I just wanna share some things with you. So Harris had a dry bar and thank God, honestly, because my hair was so dirty, it really needed to get clean. And we got a fresh blowout coming in. Um, these are just cooling them, we're gonna take them out. But honestly guys, less than an hour, they washed my hair, blow dried it, super nice and bouncy. They're like in rolls. Like, I don't even get blowouts that's good in LA, so I'm excited to see the reveal. Also to find the dry bar, it was like all the way in the bottom of hair. It's, it took us 30 minutes to fully find it, but worth it. No vlog, we left the hotel, got dressed, and now we're going to a museum. We're actually right in front of it. It's really cold. I'm wearing Kale's jacket from yesterday. This is like little Armani number. Woo! We're going to the Victoria and Albert Museum. And look at the little telephone pole back there. This is the museum right here. It's huge. It was this with the British Museum, but this looks a lot cooler and it had more art that I'm into. This is called the Victoria and Albert Museum and it looks insane. Made it to lunch. This was a recommendation from my agent Rachel. She told me that they have a press for champagne button, so. Okay, we're starting off with these truffle dumplings and salmon tartare. We also ordered the beef wellington for two, which is famous here. And we got our little champagne. How cute is this? The waiter was telling us when you press this button, the bar, the number of our table lights up over there, which we'll show you. It's really cute. Wow. Wow. I've never had beef Wellington before. All right, guys, let's try it. Wow. That is insane. Wow, guys, this dessert is insane. This restaurant is insane. If you're ever in London, you need to come here. All right, guys, we made it to the British Museum. Guys, this place is huge. 
Like you have no idea. Wow, I don't even know where to begin. So we just left the British Museum and it was really beautiful. I kind of like the Victoria more if you have to choose between the two, but they do have a huge ancient Egypt exhibit, but it's a little bit of the same. We met so many of you guys too, which was really cool. It always blows my mind and I was telling Keo this, like when I meet you guys, especially in different countries when I'm traveling, cause it's like, I don't know, it just feels really crazy. And it's something that never really gets old. But we're headed to Brick Lane, which is a area where you can go vintage shopping. It's like a whole little street. And my agent, Rachel, <laughs> she's like, she's the one that sent me like a list of recommendations. She told me that I could possibly find some really good stuff there. So, I mean, I'm all for it. So I had an espresso shot at the restaurant and it's been helping me, but I am starting to crash a little bit. This jet lag is so brutal. <laughs> I swear every time I fly to Europe it just never gets easier and Kiel's playing soccer tonight at 10 p.m Also guys, it's only 4 p.m. Like we've done all of this in four hours We left the hotel at around noon So we've done a lot today and I feel like we have gotten to know London a lot more I think after this we are gonna go back to the hotel and just like chill for a sec We've had a very nice day today. I'm, I'm glad that we were productive and did things Good morning guys, it is the next day we ended up falling asleep and waking up at four in the morning, ordering pizza last night. We have not had a single dinner in London. <laughs> Except Nando's actually, that one time. Nando's I'm on my way to Kitsune with Kyo. It's like this little coffee shop I found on TikTok here in London. They have a rose matcha latte I really want to try. And there's a lot of like really cute shopping around. But anyways, it's our last day. We're taking the Eurostar to Paris, which is like an underground train or tunnel. It's basically like a train and it's two hours and then you're in Paris. So that's what we're doing. And we're staying in Paris for two days and then we fly home. I'm excited. I haven't been to Paris since September, but as you guys know, I, I go a lot now, weirdly enough. But yeah, we don't have set plans because we did a lot of stuff yesterday. Like we, we went to Brick Lane for vintage shopping, which was okay. We went to two museums. We had lunch at the Bob Bob Ricard, but we're having lunch at the Wolseley today and then just kind of shopping around. I need vision glasses, so that's what I want to try and find today. And then maybe maybe we'll do something else, but who knows? We'll see what we end up doing. We're at the Wolseley for lunch. We're being annoyed at Mary. Lunch is served. Kyo got the roasted chicken. I got a burger with some fries. It's very yummy. This is the restaurant. It's so beautiful. And Kyo's eating his chicken. We made it to the National History Museum. I'm kind of glad Kyo convinced me to come because he wanted to come see a dinosaur. Loners. Shout out to all the loners. We're leaving London today. We're taking the train to Paris in about an hour and a half. We're packing up the whole hotel room right now. I just did my makeup just so I'm ready for the day. We haven't even booked our hotel for Paris, but I think we're staying at the Sofitel. I've stayed there a few times and they're really good with like last minute bookings. And we're gonna be in Paris for three days or two days. I'm not sure. It's the 28th. We're leaving on the 30th. So today, tomorrow, and then we leave to the US, so two days in Paris. It's one of Keo's friend's birthdays, which is why we're going, and yeah, we're just gonna be there for a quick little trip, and then we're back to the States, which I'm very excited for. I low-key miss home, and I just have so much to do when I get back, so. But I'm very happy that I've been consistent with my vlogging, and that I've been taking you guys around everywhere. Yesterday, I was gonna meet with one of my friends that lives here, his name is Hamza, but honestly, we both were so burnt out that I was like, okay, let's rain check, I'll be in London soon, or he's He's usually in LA, but I don't know. But yeah, we're leaving. I've never taken the train. I wonder if we can like, ha if it's like a scenic route, if we can like see outside. I'm excited to see how that goes. Cause I've heard that taking the train in Europe is really nice because you get a really scenic view of everything as you like go by. Anyways, but yeah, I'll document the journey. Kyo's friend Sharky's coming with us too. I haven't met Sharky yet, so I can't call him a friend cause that would be weird, but yeah. 